So this week, I've got some things to talk about. Wow, straight into it. Um, cold open. I don't want to get into them straight away. Not cold open. Because there's this, this is what I want to talk about. The fact that I've got nothing to talk about. If that okay. makes sense. Are you with me? Yeah. I have done literally nothing since we last recorded. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm talking nothing. Like imagine nothing. Think less than that. Like, that's what I've done. When when did we last talk? Wednesday, was it? Yeah, a week ago. Well, you are saving though. This is the thing. I can't do anything. Yeah. It's so... The boredom is crippling. Like so boring my life oh, yeah. right now. Does it, it get... Does it get to the point where like things that you found so soothing, relaxing and now becoming irritating because you're doing it so much? Irritating. Yeah. yeah. That's creeping in as well for me. But I, it's so funny. You text me the other day and you were so excited about kicking a football. Oh, I just wanted to And go I was like, mate, that is great. Like if that's the best thing you're going to do that week. Well, what what's something you can do that's free that isn't sit at home and watch television. <laughs> like, honestly, yeah. what is it? Walk. Can't play PlayStation. You got to buy a fucking membership. Walk, yeah. run, take the dog out, exercise, oh, see people. Can't get a coffee. Cost Go to money. the beach. Yeah. Go to the beach. Yeah, fair enough. Forty-eight mil of rain today. Yeah, yeah. not the beach Lots day. Lots of rain. Footy called off for lightning. That never happens. So yeah. was that completely called off? Oh, I think there was no. a big hiatus. Did they in there. play half an hour break at three quarter time? Oh, okay. Yeah. How, how much sport have you watched in the last week, Hanra? So much sport. <laughs> All I do is wake up, watch two NBA games, fall asleep for two hours, have dinner, and go back to bed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's all I do. Well, and then not, Soph might come over and give me a bit of, you know, some someone to talk to. Yeah, play you know or something. Yeah, a bit of. But yeah, well, know. if you're not making money, you may as well sleep at this point. Like for you, if you're not making money and you're trying to save, you may as well sleep, because when you're asleep, you're not hungry, so you don't have to go buy food. Yeah. You may as well sleep. It passes time quick as well. Yeah. That's less time. I just need the time from when I've finished work and when I start my next shift to go as quick as possible. Yeah. And nothing That's to like happen. as grim as it gets. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> You're like, literally waiting to go to work. Yeah. I Yeah, just wait to go to work. And not because it's fun. It's because you need money. I need money, yeah. Yeah. Gee, that's a one. Yeah. Well, that's a sacrifice well, you make. if we had a couple more memberships on the Patreon, I'm like, well, we. that's not real money, is it? We can't even really touch that. Yeah, we'll we'll see how we get. Might buy we might have to it. in Europe when we can't afford a flight home. Yeah, that might become essential. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll you'll be in Europe and you'll be like so far on the other spectrum of bored that it w- doesn't even matter. Yeah, that is true. Mm. Sacrifices. Do, but you're in the same pos- position as me. Yeah. What are you doing to pass the time? Anything that doesn't cost money, basically. So, what is that? Is it the so exact same things I just laid out? Seeing my girlfriend. Yeah. Is basically. <laughs> yeah. Well, if I see my mates, we're going to go do something. Yeah. When do you hang out with your mates and not spend money? Like, when when have I last saw you apart from doing this and we're like, okay, let's, let's go walk? Yeah, I'm not going for a walk with you. Never. No. No. Not happening. I don't want to do that. Outside of exercising, I couldn't imagine anything. Mm. Yeah. Well, this is nice and depressing to start us up. So, uh, welcome back to the podcast number 77. 75. 75. That was actually not bad. Luka Doncic. Yes. Oh. Yeah, scored 49. Didn't he? I don't know. Pretty sure he did. I don't know. Pretty safe call. <laughs> anyway, Luka for 49. Pod's back. We're back. On the weeklies. Week. Still on the weeklies. We cannot wait to just fucking get out of Melbourne. To be <laughs> like, I'm we so, cannot wait to leave you, you behind. you can't tell by the energy of like the last few episodes. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot, We're keen to get moving. The two weeks, oh, the two or three episodes in May are going to be the most depressing episodes. I've got nothing to talk about. I've got nothing on, nothing in my notes. I've got some stuff to talk about. How? What are you doing? Like, well... Do you want we to just start had off? Four, we just had a four-day weekend. Yeah. I know, yeah. But I did nothing. No, what, did you, what did you do? You've probably done something. What did you get up to on your four-day weekend? Um, went up to the city Saturday. Mm-hmm. What did you do in the city? Went d- CBD, 
could not even like walk on the road. Why? It was absolutely packed. Like it was so, it was, there was when lines was on Saturday. Oh, okay. Lines to every restaurant, no matter how shit the restaurant was, lines everywhere. Went to a couple bars. It was all jammed. I'm like, I can't be here. I'm literally, I can, I can feel that person's breath on my neck. I can feel that person's breath on my neck. <laughs> That's fair. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Went out of the CBD into Richmond to watch the footy, this little nice little, little tavern pub. pub saw oh, a what's few it called? The, what, the Corner Hotel? Oh, no. This little underground pub that I found. Yeah. No, it was London. I haven't been there London before. Tavern. London Tavern, though. Oh, yeah, yeah just across great, the road. Great yeah. pub. Great pub. Unreal. Yeah. Unbelievable yeah. scenes for the footy. Yeah, good footy pub. Yeah. yeah. And then I uh, saw a few people there, um, mm. stayed there for a while, and then went into Fitzroy for a bit. Mm-hmm. You know how it goes, and just went home. Yeah. So you went out, the bars. What is it about the bar that you like and when is it enough? When is it time to leave a bar? And okay, let's move on because bars are usually fun all the time. Yeah. So why does, yeah, every bar is fun. Most bars are the same. Why do we have to go from one bar to another? It's a good question. Bit of different life. So is it the different characters you'll see? Yeah. Because maybe at the start, it's more like a chill yeah. bar with like older folks. Could, mm. could be atmosphere. We moved specifically because it was just so busy and I, and paid $19 for a pint. Oh, oh see, boy. I can't do that. 15% surcharge on already fucking ridiculous pricing. Like, oh. and like the surcharge was for the public holiday, but it was Saturday. Like that's not a public holiday. It's a Saturday. What's the most the surcharge can be? No mm. more than 15%, I reckon. If it's 20%, i am going home. Yeah, if it's 20%, I'm not buying anything. It's too much. Yeah, no, I do not go out on public holidays. At all? I'm, I'm not going out on a public holiday. I'll drink at home. I'm not going out on a public holiday. I'm not paying more money than what... Like, pints are already too bad. Like, can't be paying 13 14 bucks for... No, it's... 14 bucks, 15 bucks for a pint. Yeah. And now it's 19. I was angry at 15. Yeah. 19 is too much for a beer. One beer. No. 19 bucks. That's a six pack. You buy three beers at $57. It was fucking ridiculous. You spent on three beers. Have a six pack at your house where you know you won't be upset and it's the same price. Get your mates over, have a six pack, better. Someone we were with got a pint of hard solo. Oh my, that would have been, what, 30? Can we guess? It was 26. I reckon 24. No, it was 21. Still, 21. That's 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 insane. It's not a cocktail. It is not a cocktail. And it's not double strength. It's like the same strength as a beer. No, it's it's just like having a can and a half of a hard salsa. Also, who wants that much, like, solo in one hit? Yeah, I couldn't do it. That's too much. You don't get a pint of solo. It's too much sugar. After one can, you're like, I've had more than enough sugar. I don't understand people that can drink CC and dry the whole oh, night. Oh, dude, explodes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Disgusting. Explodes. Explodes. That's <laughs> such a good name for him. Oh. Um, or like, remember back in the day when you started drinking and we drank cruises? Little oh. fat lambs. Dude. And little Never fat got lambs. on the little fat lamb just because I knew that. Thank just... God you didn't. Dude, yeah. so much sugar. Your yeah. teeth. Now I just didn't like the sugar. That Always. fluffy, like, it actually felt like little... I don't know what the word is, yeah. but disgusting. Yeah, everyone knows the fluffy teeth feel. They don't quite know what it's called, but fluffy teeth does the job. Yeah. Oh. They should just call it that because it's pretty bulletproof. Well, you're on the Sprite. Yeah, I am having a Sprite instead of a beer. You're having a Sprite, zero sugar. I'm sorry. I don't get behind the zero sugar movement. Oh, that's I didn't do it because of zero sugar. I just got it because it was on sale. I don't understand it. What, Sprite? No, zero just sugar. like zero sugar. It oh, has no. to be worse for you. I don't yeah. care. No, anyone. I used to be on it. Yeah. I'm completely off it. Apparently, it's so much worse for you than full strength. Mm. I've heard this is cancer causing. Yes. The big C. The big C. Yeah, I've heard that. I've That's heard right. like one of the most leading causes is the no sugar products. Yeah. Mm. Well, you got to die from something, I guess. That's <laughs> yeah, true, mate. <laughs> yeah. Look at that can. It's Tastes bright good. fucking yellow. I'm pretty sure out of couple of things that's going on in my life. This is <laughs> the one that's killing me. Yeah. So. Mm. Hey, everything in moderation. Everything in moderation. Yeah. Mm. But I got some stuff. 
Do we want to go like? Do we want to go like topical? Like what all the the kids are talking about? Because we never do that. The kids. Yeah. I don't know because we we're not the kids anymore. No, actually, we're should we be talking old. to kids? Probably not. But in the media, so what are our thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> As uh, Lizzo quits the music industry, Hannah, I'd like to start with you. What are your thoughts on that? Lizzo is quitting the music industry, so the Queen. Yeah, the Queen. Our I don't queen. understand. Wait, why is she quitting the music industry? She's done. Really? Well, she's dead. No, she's not. Lizzo. I thought you meant. I don't know who Lizzo is. Lizzo is the very um, large. large one who's all about like bo- Adele. No, no, she's skinny she's, as now. Yeah, she's in great oh, shape. Really? She's going out with uh, LeBron's agent. How yeah. weird is that? Rich, That's like Rich, two worlds Rich colliding. Paul. Rich Paul. Yeah. yeah, him. No way. Yeah. How weird is that? Anyway. Who's yeah, Lizzo? Lizzo. She's the big, like she's a woman of size. Is she fat? I would say that would be a adjective for it. <laughs> and <laughs> Why do you she's a, in the music that? industry. <laughs> yeah. She like sings all the songs, the flutes and all that stuff. You'd know you, it. You'd I'll know literally songs. show you a photo and you'd be like, oh, I've seen her before. Anyway, what's she doing? Quitting? Quitting music. Well, there's because no of all her music. haters and whatnot. Oh, really? And I wonder what they're calling her. <laughs> well, she like <laughs> molested. <laughs> she molested like two of her dancers. What? She molested two of her dancers. Like she sexually, weirdly groped them oh. on stage. Yeah, you don't do that. Can you get behind someone after they've done something like that no ever again no so say like can you redeem yourself no you know what chris brown never came back he never came back mm. no one really when you think of chris is brown, that a good thing yeah it's great like get out <laughs> <laughs> no one no one thinks about chris brown and goes oh yeah top bloke yeah but has he changed what uh, did chris brown uh, do? who knows i don't even know what chris brown did yeah what did he do he bashed the fuck out of rihanna Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah okay. that's kind of domestic violence. Yeah, I'm not for that. No, well, I'm not for anything. But are we for second chances? Yeah, not very well. hard to give a second chance to something you almost say is undoable. When, like, what kind of crime do you give a second chance to? What's the worst crime you give a second chance to? Like, what are you leaning? Like, you know what? Because there's some crimes that are bad, but they're also funny. Like if Chris Brown, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Barged himself into Harvey Norman and stole a TV. Oh yeah, that's yeah. That's no, not I'm, a yeah. That's, that's pretty th- fucking funny, and you don't care. Like you don't hate him because he stole a TV. Yeah. But that's like saying, would you? Oh. And is why isn't cheating something that? Do you reckon cheating's the worst thing you can do? That's not. Um. That's not illegal. Not illegal. Yeah. 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 I reckon. It's yeah. the worst thing you can do. That's P- emotional. A lot, well, Tiger Woods. See, Tiger Woods' whole life got but, torn up from cheating. Yeah, Bucky exactly. can hit a golf ball, though. But people still love him. <laughs> yeah. But he's like broken hearts, like destroyed people. Destroyed families. What do you do there? Yeah. But he can hit know. a golf ball and everyone still loves him. Yeah. The, yeah. I mean, a lot of celebrities get many, many chances. It's known. Mm. It's known. They're, they're known for second and third chances. What did Spacey do again? Who is Spacey? Kevin Spacey. Oh, he hasn't got a second chance. Yeah, yeah. what did he do? I think he molested young boys. Kids, yeah. Ooh, that's not good. No, yeah, there's no coming back from Where that. Where does the desire for that to happen come from? Whoa, Sick you're minds. asking the wrong group of people here. Like, I don't understand that. Yeah, I don't know where it comes from. That is so fucked up. Emotionally damaged beings that mm. haven't dealt with their trauma, I'd say. Probably not. Something along the lines, but... Yeah, no, I was going to say get him on and ask him, but I don't want to. <laughs> really don't want to. I'd be against that. Uh, so his career's gone. Yeah, I'd, <laughs> I'd say he's in trouble. <laughs> okay, what about the Alec Baldwin thing? He's in thing? trouble when he goes to no, prison. the Alec Baldwin thing yeah. is crazy. I, all right, can I be honest? Yeah. The gags are funny. Like, so harsh. Yeah. But, but what do you, do you give him a second chance? He didn't mean to kill someone with a prop gun. No, but he did. No. But you can't think that way, can you? He didn't, though. He but didn't. he did. He shot someone in the face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like, oh, I, didn't, yeah. I don't know how... I don't know how, like, you can say that he did, though. It's a prop gun. Yeah. 
Whose responsibility is that? The to, person with the prop. The, the prop master. Yeah, whatever they're called. Mm. Whoever's in... Because they've got someone there like that do a safety check to make sure they don't fucking go off. Yeah. What they about, stop swearing also. What <laughs> about jo- what about Josh Giddy? No. Or actually... Well, has he been no, he charged? Got, yeah, he didn't get charged. But Did he do anything wrong? All just rumours. So was it all wrong? No, I think, it's, I think it's all been dropped. So you can't really do anything about that. You don't know and you will never know. No one will ever know. Well, that's annoying. But the, they still boo him every stadium he goes to. Do they still? That's 100%. no, yeah, like, they that's boo no him. good. But I don't know what happened. Like surely and he like would have been charged, wouldn't he? Or is it like one of the things like, oh, he's such a high profile. It's not. It's sweeping under the rug kind of thing. Because yeah. I, I worry it's that. And then I say, leave him alone mm. when he did something wrong. What do you do to him? Do you? But his whole reputation's gone. Oh, yeah, his rep, it's, yeah that's what's shit. Because if he actually didn't do it, reputation, everything done. Like he's on that Ball Magnets podcast. He's not involved with that anymore. No, of course not. You can't just realign. That's, do you get a photo bad with him brand anymore? management. Hey? Do you get a photo with him anymore? Yeah. Well, I wouldn't get a photo with him the whole, regardless. The whole team, like the whole OKC team, went and saw like a, a high school game and he wasn't there. Like little things like that. He can't go like in high schools because it's like bad for his image. Oh, I actually saw that and like someone commented, OKC making a business decision. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Going to a high school game while the kids are. It's oh. fucked. Oh, man, that is the worst thing I reckon. To be accused of. To being to be accused, accused of, yeah. of a child predator would be up there. That's the worst thing you can be accused of. Oh, yeah. Have you been accused of something before? Not anything to do with that. No. Or what, accused of being a terrible son, maybe? I get accused of stealing lollies all the time. <laughs> Jeez, we are. <laughs> All the time And it annoys me Because I'm never the one That fucking does it It's just my history That says Oh Jack Oh don't you hate it When something's left out In your house Oh and dude Your folks just started. say That it's yours It's never It's never the sister's fault No, no. it's never always the sister's your fault. fault My fucking fault Yeah It's always my little brothers Yeah And it's always Kyle Oh would you leave that for Oh yeah, no, that fires me up. <laughs> I uh, stand my ground on those ones. When I know yeah. I'm right, I'm seeing it through. Yeah. And you know what one really pisses me off? What? When something stinks and someone blames you for the fart and it oh. wasn't you. I'm like, I will take pride <laughs> in this. In oh. my fart. Yeah. It wasn't me. I'd own my fart. That's not me. It, that pisses me off because I hate bad smells. Mm. So now I'm associated with this smell that has nothing to do with me. Get out of here. And then you get a reputation and it's just the assumption. Yeah, nothing worse than being known as the smelly guy. Oh. That would be grim. Or yeah. just like plates get left out in my living room, <laughs> right? <laughs> Consistently with crumbs on them. <laughs> like <laughs> and the knife and fork <laughs> still on the plate with like sauce and shit on it. Oh, you get the picture. Yeah. yeah. And it's always <laughs> my fucking fault. And I it's not hard. I put it in the dishwasher after every time and they still say, Jack, I'm like, <laughs> it's Grace's. It's fucking Grace's. It's not mine. Yeah. No, it's no fun. Yeah, getting wrongfully getting, accused. We can't, It's yeah. not really on the same level as Josh Giddy, but I get you. <laughs> 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 I kind of see the correlation, but it's not quite equal. Mm-hmm. Did you guys get any Easter eggs for your folks this year? Yeah. You I d- did? On the oh, I s- didn't. On the Saturday, went to the shops. The s- th- This really, really pissed me off. Mm-hmm. So I'm in there getting, I got three things. I got something from my mom, dad, sister, like one thing, just th- for the thought, you know. An egg, yeah. An egg each, yeah. whatever. I'm in the line for the self-checkout. There's people also in the line in front of me in the self-checkout with like 30 items in the trolley. Yeah. Get the fuck out. Yeah. <laughs> it is self like it doesn't mean you can bring 30 items in there. Self checkout is for 12 the, 12 or under. I'll yeah. cop you, 10. You got to it's whatever you can carry on your own. Yeah, you like, can't take like, a trolley. with hands. Whatever you can carry in your own two hands. Yeah. That's the max. Yeah. I I had a tantrum. You know when you're like <laughs> you know I was with Tay 
And you know when you're like talking to someone and you want all the people to hear what you're saying? Mm. Yeah. I was I like, like I can't believe there's people in here with a trolley for the self-checkout. Oh. I've been waiting here for five minutes for three Easter eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just wanted it to be known. I, I can't stand that shit. Like, get, there's literally, there's like fucking 10 yeah. things open where people are just nicely, it's flowing nicely. This is at a standstill. It oh. is traffic. Red oh, light, bumper belts. to bumper. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, I think the oh. only thing you can take into a self checkout is the black basket. Yeah, that's the most you can take in. Trolleys yeah. should not be allowed. No, no, no trolleys. Way. They should put like spikes. Yeah, <laughs> that's a so great you, idea. Yeah, the wheels get like stuck or something. Spikes. Yeah, yeah. or Facing. just like something about that tall. Yeah, that it just can't get <laughs> <Yeah>. over. <laughs> <laughs> Bad luck, mate. Go oh. line up with the rest of yeah. the carts or whatever they are. I got an idea for Easter. Mm. So, do you have the issue of having way too many eggs? I've got too many already. So, and I don't eat chocolate really. Mm. I reckon there should be a thing where you buy one bag of eggs each in your folks and then just put it in a bowl and then it's just like a communion bowl. Communion bowl. Because I like, Cause I like a communion bowl. Communion. Because there's nothing better. Community is essential. Again, though. You're saying communion as in the, do you mean communal? Communal. Communion. That's a church thing. Anyway. But communal the bowl. With, the, the thing bowl. with the community bowl. Yeah. You don't community know. Community bowl. Community bowl. We'll call it the community bowl. Communal. <laughs> communal bowl. Communion bowl. Egg U- bowl. Eucharist bowl. Come. Right. Ew. Back okay. on the bowl. Creamy eggs. <laughs> <laughs> That's a type of egg. Hard boiled eggs. Yeah. Hard boiled. Scrambled eggs. Well, that. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Love it. Well, the communal bowl could be scrambled eggs. You got all sorts in there. All right. But going back to the bowl. Back to the bowl. <laughs> Super bowl. Oh, <laughs> lost the Anyway. Plot. <laughs> stupid gags. <laughs> and no one else is finding this funny, but us. <laughs> this stupid gag. Anyway. Like, get on with the point. The thing with the bowl is that <laughs> no one can study or keep track of who's taken how many out of the bowl. And again, this is where the assumption is going to come in. Yeah. Jack, you've taken all the eggs. Yeah. I don't like that either. I think it's all on uh, goodwill, isn't it? Honesty you, system. Honesty involved. system. You got to have some kind of. Well, like you, you should know roughly because, say, you know your sister's favourite egg. You know what she's picking first, Cream don't egg. you? Yeah. She like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so surely she'll be taking That's those first. Milky bar. Milky bar. Good Milky bar. way. <laughs> Shocky milk. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> this, is, this is fucked. I get you though. So <laughs> but that's my idea. Just I, a I bowl, like buy idea. a bag, chuck it in there. Everyone shares it around. Otherwise, mm. I just give it to my folks or my brothers anyway, or my girlfriend or whoever. Because yeah. I don't eat it. I can't consume that much chocolate. So first thing you eat Easter morning, was it chocolate? Mm-mm. Yeah, I had about 10 or so little Easter eggs. <laughs> I haven't had an Easter egg yet. <laughs> Is that bad? Uh, so far. That's pretty, <laughs> yeah, not great. But it's your one excuse. I get it. It's, it's I had a scrambled egg. That was yeah. my first egg on Easter. I did have eggs too. I had a little brekkie roll. Nice. Here's some food for thought. Yeah. If you switched your me- all your meals around, say you had Does steak that- for breakfast, mm-hmm. a sandwich still for lunch and bacon eggs on toast for dinner, do you reckon you'd feel a bit different, like something's off or just for, is food yeah. food? You'd start the day feeling a bit heavy because after yeah. you eat dinner, you, you don't really do much. You either sit down on the couch or you go to bed mm. or you might study. Like if you have brekkie in the morning and go out to eight hours of work, mm. fuck. Like spaghetti you, bolognese you for cooked, breakfast. You cooked. Yeah. I can barely get down like a bowl of cereal in the morning. But if you had cereal for dinner, is I, that fine? I mean, it's f- it's fine, but why? Like, yeah. why would you want to do this? Mm. I don't mind no the reason. casual breakfast for dinner, though. Like when you can't be fucked cooking. Yeah, and you just put. I've had eggs for dinner before. Of course, an omelet. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude, omelets are gross. No, no. You, you like omelets? Yes. Love why don't you just scramble eggs? Like it's essentially it's is basically scrambled sh- eggs, but with extra inside, cheese, bacon, onion. On- oh, I love Sh- onion. <laughs> I fucking love onion. I yeah. said I was going to swear this, and I did it again. Yeah. I love onion. Put it in anything, and I'm happy. 
Olives, love olives. I don't know if I put them in an omelet though. That's uh, just not olives. Olives, mushroom. Are disgusting. Yeah, yeah. Bit of mush. I'll tell you what I tried for the first time the other day. Mushrooms. Sophie's brother's birthday. The like she tried Sophie's brother. Yeah, I tried him. Um, what kind of? <laughs> 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 what was that, Kyle? I don't know. Anyway, I don't know where you were going. Um, you know what I tried? Sophie's brother's. No. <laughs> what? Where do we you want to go? We went out for dinner. We, yeah, okay, so you went out to dinner with her brother. Yeah, and their fam. Oh, okay. Yeah. And he Sophie ordered, was there? Yes, she was. Okay. And yeah. her folks? Yes. Okay. All right. Fam. They're all there. Fam was there. Um, he orders anchovies. What do you what, mean? What, just a bowl of them? Just a bowl of anchovies. No, he didn't. 100%. If, no, he didn't. Just a bowl of anchovies. No, he didn't. No, yeah. no, no. Okay. Is, is this on the menu? Yeah, entree, anchovies. No, no. Okay, but how did it come out? Yeah. In a bowl. <laughs> But like just straight up anchovies Straight up bowl. nothing else but anchovies Where is this restaurant? Volpino, Mount Martha No Yeah no. Well dude I was there It was like three days ago I actually think you might have got really drunk And no and <laughs> Anyway I Can we one. call someone and confirm? Do you like anchovies? Mm-hmm. They're okay, like on pizza. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not raw dogging anchovies. No, that's See, he, they were all raw dogging anchovies. And get out of there, Henry. Run, dude. That <laughs> run. Like, I've never tried one, so I'm like, okay, well, it must be alright. Salty. <laughs> yeah, they are very salty. <laughs> on a pizza, I don't mind it. Seafoody. Not look. I'm well, yeah, not saying chuck extra anchovies on my pizza or anything. I'm not going to any extreme. Mm. But that is an interesting choice of entree. There's your palate gone for the rest of the night. Everything tastes like salt. Here's another thing that was a bit of a question. Here we go. I was still hungry after my meal. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. then they said, do you guys want something else? Nah, you know what you do. You go to Macca's after. That's what you do. You say, no, I'm okay. Henry said yes. Then my lift home though. Yeah. And then you go get Macca's. Oh. By myself. Yes. But then they... Where no. are you going? Yeah. Where are you... No, you wait you for going? them to leave. Did you? I went back to hers where the fam. Oh, you went back to hers. Oh, you just, yeah, you cooked. Just stashed like some you just shapes got, or something. Like. You gotta, yeah, you're pretty much in trouble. Anyway, I just did the look up to like Soph and like how, see how she was feeling. Yeah, she got the idea that I was still hungry. Yeah, and said mm, maybe we can get one more. And I'm like, yes, <laughs> it actually worked quite well. Nice. Mm. Yeah, that's all right. As long as you're like, yeah, another round. Starving. Because <laughs> I could see that happening. Back in the day, Henry would say he would say that. I mean, I'm starving. Get I'm another starving. round. Can't do it anymore. No, no, you could never do it. No, you could never do it. No, Pro- I probably it was all talk, wasn't it? Yes, of course. Mm. No one can do that. Like it is. It takes a person of rudeness to do that. Mm. Mm. But you know what? They probably end up getting what they want. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Is that good or not? Who knows. I got some more stuff. Oh, I've got all. So, what did we say about Lizzo again? We're gonna move on. Lizzo. Oh, gee, we. Oi, he said it. Do you don't like Lizzo? He no, fucking so sick of her songs. Oh, really? Yeah. You would know the songs. Okay. <laughs> you would know just like without even listening to her, without putting a song on. How does it go? I'm not singing. Sing one lyric. I feel like Noxie's <laughs> racially driven here. Anyway. Oh, um, is she so black? I yeah. What? Oh. <laughs> Jesus. So you ready? <laughs> you got it? Good gag. Um, so I tripped over in front of my girlfriend the other day. Yeah. I asked her if she wanted to break up with me. Is there anything more embarrassing? Yes. Just tripping, nothing. Tripping over nothing. I had sandals on at the beach, walking <laughs> up the hill to the car, tripped, landed on all four. <laughs> I said, so do we break up? What do we do from here? I think we're done. Well, there's no coming back from this. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. I trip I was, over all the time, though. The, I I was like screaming at myself. Like, <laughs> oh, I was really? like, "What are you doing? Oh. She's right there." I've never. No, nah, that doesn't. That shit doesn't embarrass me. That very much got me. I was like, "That's so bad." I almost kind of do that stuff to piss her off because I know she gets embarrassed by it. <laughs> like I'll act. All- I would love. I would love to watch Sophie behind you as you trip over. She'd be like, "Jack, get up!" <laughs> like, like look around and be like, "Fuck!" <laughs> I just like act a bit clumsy or something. Oh, and yeah, like I'll purposely yeah. drop stuff and like say sorry to people in public. Just oh. like being embarrassing. She hates it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. No, nah, nothing. 
Yeah, that's not my kind of embarrassed either. I so what have I you done in front of your girlfriend that's really embarrassed you? Henry hasn't even tooted yet, so when he does that, that'll be his thing. Tooted? Yeah. What's the toot? He means fart. Oh, I haven't farted, no. Still not. No, almost did last night. Should have done it, dude. No, She's not going to break it. up with you. I know. Well, she might. We don't know yet. <laughs> but <laughs> I unlikely. Know. Well, you've, she's booked in for Europe, so she probably <laughs> won't. Yeah. You've got her in for at least a couple more months. I just can't. Because what if it stinks? It, it will, will stink. That's the point. Under the sheets, though. It Can't it stay under there? Yeah, yeah. just... Yeah, as long as you don't I'm waft not, it. I'm not wafting it. That's... I hate that. It's just the sound. Because whenever I, like, stay... It's funny. Whenever I'm with her... With that. And when, it, <laughs> when I'm with <laughs> her for a bit, I always hold it in a lot and I get really airy and they're going to be loud. Yeah. They're I not get like, you. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Mm. Do you let him go? Yes. Of oh, course I do. No. How but, are you when your girlfriend farts? Well... <laughs> <laughs> I just, I'm not a big fan of bad smells. <laughs> Imagine that. Farts, laugh, she does it, not on. <laughs> no, 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 I laugh, I laugh. But if I smell, I, anytime I smell something bad, I immediately try to make it better. Like, <laughs> I got to get out of here. How bad gotta, would you feel if you farted and you knocked his girlfriend and then he gets air freshener straight away? <laughs> just being like, you are disgusting. <laughs> no. <laughs> Farts happen. They happen. They're natural. They have to happen. All right. We're going to have to move on from farts because we're trying yeah, to... I'm, I like talking about farts. I know, but we need to grow as a podcast. And I reckon the talk... audience like the fart. Drop a like if you like farts. Oh. <laughs> that is <laughs> disgraceful. Actually, that not even a like. I'm asking a lot here of the audience. Comment if you like the fart talk or not. Just a thumb up or a thumb down yeah. so you don't look weird in the comments saying, oh, I like fart talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just put a thumb up in the comments if you like it and a thumb down if you don't. We just talk about it too much. We talk about shit, farts and vomit like all the time and toilet. Um, I, had a, I had a thought the other day. Let's hear it. Well, I didn't have a thought. I was in pub, not in public. I was, well, I was in public and there were like these people like who both had babies. And one was an ugly fucking baby, like an ugly baby. Well, how do you react to an ugly baby? Like, I can't really hide my emotions all that well. Great question. Like, if, if someone is showing you a baby, your natural thing is, oh my God, that's the cutest baby because you just want to be polite. But mm. if this baby is looking at you and it looks like the Grinch, like, what do you, <laughs> how do you hide that? Like, do you hide it? Do you just not say it's cute or what? What do you say? Oh, gee, it looks like his father. Even though it's a girl. <laughs> yeah, you got it. That's a good point. I you think, always oh, say, so, oh, he's got his dad's nose. Yeah, he's got I his dad's he... ears. No, he yeah. doesn't. Yeah. It's three times the fucking size. <laughs> yeah, it's he's already got... bigger than his dad's nose. I hate I hate that comment. I actually hate it. He's got his dad's eyes. The eyes are closed. I can't see his eyes. Yeah, yeah. the eyes are closed. Well, what do you want to say? <laughs> that is shit. <laughs> yeah, like, what that you... is so... I cannot believe you made that. I do not like looking at that. It's really it offensive, away. isn't it? Calling someone's baby ugly, isn't it? As rude, they've just been through labour. They mm. are still copying it from that labour. But like, <laughs> you've just called it ugly. But yeah. it's like the same. I know it's like a baby, but like, imagine like you meet someone and they introduce you to their twenty-five-year-old son mm. or daughter. Are you meant to say, what a beautiful kid you got there? Like, <laughs> why just because it's a baby, do you have, why do you have to compliment it? Like, do you have to compliment the baby? No. Okay. So what do you say? Kyle, this is um, Jerry. Yeah. Jerry wants to say hi. <laughs> you Jerry. are definitely having a baby called Jerry. What are you saying to Jerry? Hi, Jerry. Hey, how you going, Jerry? Are you going to uh, play with him a bit? Or no, like? not really. If it's not my kid, not if it's not mine, a family's. Or like one of my closest mates, I'm not touching, picking up or anything with the kid. Oh. Yeah, I'm probably the same. Yeah, I just, I, I, nah, it's a baby, dude. It's too, it not break. Your, it's, not your, break. it's not your place, is it? No, I'm not picking up a little kid. And like, nothing is the baby's fault. No. Nah. Which annoys me as well. I was at the footy, the Red Hill Germana game. Saw someone I knew, they just had a kid. Mm -hmm. Went up, started playing with the baby, did the old finger thing, how they always grab onto the finger. Did yeah. you compliment Did you compliment the baby? I said, yeah, Ziggy's cute. Yeah. Um, anyway, the baby grabbed hold of my shirt 
and like started pulling me towards him. Yeah. Don't stretch the shirt, mate. But like, <laughs> of course, I'm not going to resist and like act like might injure the baby by tugging it away. Yeah, I probably would have. So I, I go with that. it. And then it starts chewing on my shirt. Ew, dude. No. But like, what are you supposed to do? Like, Not say, let it chew. Just take it off it. The baby's going to literally change its mind in four seconds. Now he's going to be like, oh, here, no thing. Give it. It's going to not be, it's not going to be like, oh, I hate that guy. He didn't let me grab his shirt. <laughs> but he was chewing it. That's gross. I wouldn't have let him got to that point. He might have been chewing I'm actually not sure. But how, he had how it. How are you not sure? What are you looking at? Like, what else are you focused on? Because he had this huge, like, cover. Like it was how long are his arms? How long? How stretchy is your oh, shirt? I was just standing next to the baby, and you know he grabbed me. Like <laughs> he was in a pram. I, I yeah. You do yeah. that, hey buddy, grab his arm and then get the shirt off him. Yeah, I didn't do that. I don't really interact with babies that much. No, neither do I. But it's just a gut feel. So I kind of went with it. He was holding on to it and playing with it with his slobbery hands. Oh, that would have been enough. For me. <laughs> I was thought it was funny, but like I didn't know how to say. Get off. <laughs> Not get off, but like, you know, that's my shirt. <laughs> sort of thing. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be a new world for me. Is this on the parents to be like, oh, leave, you know, don't do that. Don't uh, touch no, him. The parents have too much going on. Too much going on, yeah. yeah. In fact, the parent listens to this quite often. Beautiful. So, yeah. I'm sorry. She's a big fan. Well, oh, really? She's probably hear it. Newborn, Wish how old? I think 18 weeks. Oh, congratulations! No, what months, are your thoughts? What are your months. thoughts when they say they're twenty-four months old or thirty months old? <laughs> <laughs> when do you start calling them by years? After twelve, after one, after you, yeah, after, after one, one year, year they're one. one. And then you can do like year and a half. Or but then whatever. they look like an old one-year-old. But like, what if they're like one no. and they turn two tomorrow? Well, then you do like say I'm t- turning two in August. Okay, yeah, I don't mind that. That's what I would do. Not. He's one in 10 months. Shut up. Yeah. Shut up. Don't like the one in 10 months. Shut I, up. I don't either. But mm. I, I think people associate like milestones with months all the way up until two years. Yeah. No. So that's why. I think Who you're cared? right. Like, like yeah. walking, teething, all that shit. So that's why. But like to, to us yeah. who don't have kids, it makes no fucking It makes difference. no sense. Well, when they're zero, when they're like, when they're like 40 <laughs> weeks old, how old what do you say? How zero? old? You're not going to say they're zero. No, no, no. I'm so you do. So this is the thing for me. You do weeks until you get to a month. You do months, you do months till, get till you get to a year. And then that's it. Yeah. I think. I okay. agree. Because no one cares. Oh, he's, if he's like one in 11 months, <laughs> no just say one. he's turning two <laughs> next month. What if you get to a decade? You say I'm one decade. Yeah. Like what do you? No, I don't know. I'm a no century old. No one's going to ask how old the baby is. I'm two decades old. Month, surely. <laughs> it's like fucking this big. Yeah, how old is he? No, you might. No, you might that, be really is, raw. You might be like, gee, did he just pop out of the oven? Asking the age of the baby is like 101 small talk. I don't know what yeah, else man. you can ask. Like, what, is, what, what has he done? See, after What's that. What's he like to eat? <laughs> like, what do you After that, ask? that's Did when you, you like your breast milk? <laughs> <laughs> after that. It's when you start saying he looks like his dad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's when it goes south after that. Are you keen? I messaged you this the other day. Are you excited to change your baby's nappies? I've had the conversation with Tamar. I said I'm not doing it. I am not doing it. Because <laughs> you know how bad... I'm not doing it either. Because the early days, I'm not doing me? it. Are you kidding me? You have to it. do it. Dude. Apparently, it is the most vile, vile... Like the first couple yeah. are the most vile Because they're green. Things. They're not brown yet. Like they don't make real poo. Oh. But the thing is, I'll be, I'll, be, I'll be cleaning up shit and then my vomit on the baby. Like that, <laughs> so like, it's just more mess. And if <laughs> like... It smells so much worse than like adult feces. Oh, that's enough. Like so much worse, like fresher, like sloppy. <laughs> it's disgusting. Yeah, I, we've gone back to shit somehow. I know. And you got to like shit. completely wipe it off. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking disgusting. Like, dis- How are you going to do that? I, I told you I'm not going to. You have to do that. That's a ick, I reckon. If... Like they're gonna oh, hate that. It's too fucking bad. You've got a kid with me, so. Oh yeah, fair enough. All right, I got two more it's things for my, us. It's got my last name. So I want to get away <laughs> from this toilet talk. Um, drop a like. <laughs> actually, I got a few more. So, taking a selfie or a photo with your girlfriend. Oh. Mm-hmm. Where you are the ones taking the photos. So either a mirror selfie, 
like a mirror photo or a selfie, mm. one of those two, who is the one holding the phone? Who should be the one holding the phone? Definitely her. She's always holding the phone? Most yeah. certainly. Yeah. Ne- never am I ever going to be holding that phone. Yeah. Because I saw something that I thought was strange. It was the guy holding the phone and the girl kissing him. Uh, what did it? I ha- think that's completely wrong both ways. First yeah. of all, I'm not setting up a kissing photo personally. No. I'm not, to, and t- unless I'm getting married. That's the only kissing photo. That's the only time you'll see it on camera. Oh, uh, I think I've done. Yeah, you've done one. I've got it. I've like saved a, it to my phone. Oh, that was like a, that was a Christmas party forceful kiss. No, you told her to get under the mistletoe. She told me to do that. I recollect that. One hundred percent. She <laughs> told me to do that, and I'm. Yeah, I felt really that. awkward just standing there, just getting more photos of people kissing, and I'm like, all right, you're done. Anyway, I've done like funny ones. Not like proper, let's get a good kiss photo. Yeah, I've no. I've not done that. I haven't done that. Like, I'm not for the kissing selfie. I feel like that's weird. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, marriage, sure. It's mm-hmm. meaningful. Mirror selfies? Are we past it? I, I, I prefer a mirror selfie than one of them. Where are your hands? Yeah. in Always cuddling. One, yeah, always, always cuddle, cuddling. Yeah. yeah. Tell you what I find awkward. What? Like, say like formal photos of a couple and the guy's got his hand on the girl's ass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when it's like, obviously like... Like he's cupping it. Oh, I don't like that. I'm oh, like, it makes have, me cringe. Have some like, class. The parents have to be taking that photo. Oh, or they will see it. Yeah, they'll like see that. Got a genuine handful. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that. It has to be around the waist. Yeah. 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 Agreed. It's uncomfortable. And you look back, because these parents are probably showing their friends these photos. Mm. And if you're just seeing some massive cheek cheekage, like, yeah. it's not great. Bit of bunda action. That's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bit of bunda action. Bit of bunda, bunda action. action. The buns. Um, yeah, i got I got a couple more things that I just might write up. This is more a question. What does active on Messenger mean? Because I don't know what it means. Does it it's mean you're got, on Messenger or you're on your phone or... It means you're on Facebook, I think. No. So if you're on Spotify, just playing music. Mm. Yeah. Are you active? You're right. Because I reckon the active That's, has lost its... I don't think it means it, anything. It doesn't mean anything anymore. What are you talking about? Because I get frustrated when I ask someone a question and I see they're active. But I... Because I assume it means you're on either Facebook or Messenger. That's what I think. Which that, is what it should be. But I feel like it's if you're on your phone, you're active. Because if you, you could literally be out or doing something and playing music and you're on the speaker. So it's continuously going. So you would be active, but you're not actually on your phone. You're so right. I'm like, I can't, I don't have the right to be frustrated there. But if I know they're on Messenger on Facebook, I know they will see it. Yeah. See, I, I get told a lot of the time like that I'm active, but I'm, I just put the phone down and it will still say I'm active. I've tested it with Tay. Really? You put your phone down, you turn it off, and it says you're active for like another 30 minutes. Yeah, I don't get it, and I don't like it. I don't like it. It's, I think it's just frustrating. That little green dot doesn't mean anything. No. They should get a red dot. They yeah, should, if I call someone like that, when they're active now, half the time they don't answer. Yeah. Yeah. It, which is annoying because it's like... Obviously, I, you're on your phone. I can't stand a messenger call. Really? It just doesn't feel right. Like, it, it just feels like I'm never going to get that person. That's all I call on. I because know. it rings longer, so you feel like you're not going to get them or yeah. something. Fair mm. enough. Like, and I, I don't know. I feel like if someone calls me normally, I'm more inclined to pick it up than if I hear that messenger thing. Yeah, I don't maybe. know why. It just doesn't feel real. Probably feels more serious if it's your actual phone number. Yeah. Might actually want something. Who knows, though? I, I think it's a strange thing calling or asking someone for their number nowadays. Unless they're older, like much older. No. 
You don't reckon? You can when, ask for their number. Okay, when do you ask someone for their number? At what stage? Oh, you got to be pretty close with them. If you literally be like, oh, I'll give you... A, if you literally said, I'll give you a call later, mm-hmm. oh, I'd, actually, I don't have your number. Can you send, you, send me your number? Because mm. otherwise, you'll be doing the messenger thing and everyone hates messenger calls. I like messenger calls. I don't. Like I don't. Them. I don't see the difference. Like it's. I don't know. You're talking. Like I don't really care, but I'd rather a normal call than a. Like I'll call you on your phone number. You'll call me on messenger every time. Yeah. No question. But like, I don't know. It's it doesn't make much of a difference, honestly. We're picking, we're picking nitpicking, nitpicking it, yeah. stuff that doesn't. Don't matter. Don't call on Snapchat too often. No. I don't have Snapchat. Do you? You don't have Snapchat, do you? I've got Snapchat. You've got Snapchat. Yeah, I don't Snapchat. I Snapchat one group chat that I yeah. have my mates in, and that is it. That is um, all. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's the same with me. Yeah, that chat. That weird chat. Yeah. No, I cold turkey it. I'm out. You know what Snapchat's like good it. for? It's funny for, like, on this day seven years ago, and you no, see. I don't want to say it. Dude. It's fucking hilarious at times. No, that's it. good. The memories are good. It's good. Yeah. No, I don't want to say my. Why? It's fucking so funny in, as fuck. I get so embarrassed. <laughs> no, but it's usually <laughs> so it's cringe. Usually it's me older drunk. Oh, <laughs> someone sent it to me. <laughs> it's just like, oh, shut up, you coward. Mm. Can't no. stand it. Um, nothing wrong with Snapchat. Yeah, I don't mind. I don't mind that part of it. I was I was thinking about this today. A new point. Mm-hmm. Um, do we think what are the main professions where like someone will change as a person? Like one big one is, oh, like what are you doing? Oh, hey, haven't seen you in five years. What are you doing now? And someone says they're a cop. Immediately you're like, I got to switch here. I got to switch on now. I got to switch here. So, I can't really. Mm, yeah. What are some jobs that people have reputations and they change their behavior a bit? This is what I mean. This is the question. I reckon real estate agent. Agreed. Yeah. 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 Something about it. They just, I don't know what it is. Because they have to be this type of person five days a week. Mm. Yeah. And it's hard to switch off a bit. Yeah. Be exhausting, I reckon. Yeah. No. Like, do you reckon even like teachers, do you reckon they change a little bit? Do you reckon they become a bit more... Caring, I guess, or even more angry because they're just so fucking fed up with kids. <laughs> <laughs> Teachers hate kids, dude. Um, yeah, probably. Like, imagine dealing with f- fucking five year olds five days a week and then you come home and something pisses you off. I'd crack. You'd lose it. Yeah. You couldn't do it. Probably. It's the hardest job, I reckon. It would honestly be the hardest job. You could not do teaching, I reckon. I get told that daily. <laughs> <laughs> By my family who are all teachers. <laughs> <laughs> you just like, you just, I couldn't do it. I just, I'd yeah, be fed I'd up. Struggle. And I'd probably have a crack at the kids. And you're not allowed to do that. Yeah. You'd hear a lot of, use some common sense. I'd use that line a lot. <laughs> a bit of common sense. <laughs> and they'd be, they just wouldn't understand. And they'd just go back in the room and start gluing the wall. Be like, yeah, sweet. What's, <laughs> what's the go if there's a kid in your class who keeps talking while you're talking and interrupting. I'm putting him outside. Outside? Yeah, he can sit outside for five minutes. But he says, I don't want to go outside. Well, I'll drag him outside. You're going to grab him? You no, can't you, touch him? Yeah, you can. Can't you grab a kid by the arm or something and say, you come with me? No, I don't think so anymore. Then can you say, well, if you don't go outside, I'm going to call your parents. Can you do that? They would probably go outside, wouldn't you? No, There'd be rules. Outside. I don't know the rules. I feel like you can't touch ki- the kids though. Unless, like, they're endangering themselves or other people. Mm. Yeah, you're breaking up a fight. I think you can break up a fight. Yeah. As a you'd, you'd have you, to be able to. Yeah. Do you reckon there's too many rules now with kids and schools and whatnot? Yes. Yeah, of course. Far too many. Beyond, beyond I still the find it insane that insane. there's metal detectors in America for schools. Yeah. What? For well, guns. guns and stuff. you got to walk through a metal detector, like an yeah. airport thing. Yeah. To go to school. Mm. Yeah. Holy fuck. I like, I find that insane. That's crazy. I could literally take a whole bag of guns to school. No one would know. No one would know. Yeah. <laughs> They'd be like, oh, it's your PE bag. No one would care. No, it's just a bit heavy. Yeah, it's heavy yeah, PE bag. Basketball. Yeah, just don't drop it. Yeah. Yeah, they yeah, got to do metal nuts. detect, go through it's metal crazy. detectors because they don't trust their kids going to take a gun to school. That's insane. It's a crazy world it. out there. What about? 
Do you reckon in the UK they get bullied in school more than any other country? Why? I don't know. I feel like there's bullying that occurs there. Uh, yeah, well, it's pretty brutal humour. Yeah, it's very brutal humour. Uh, like, I love it. It's all it's, taking the piss. Yeah, so if you just can't cop it, you're in trouble. Yeah. Because like, then you're going to cop it even more. Mm. If you're a bit hard on the eyes, watch out. Yeah, like, you're copping it. You're copping it. Yeah, I want to be in a fat UK ginger. High school. <laughs> Oh, that'd be horrendous. Awful. You're going to leave the country. (laughs) You honestly have to leave the country. Yeah, they're not very... um, Forgiving? Courteous? Courteous. Yeah, you could use that word. Yeah. They just... The accent too makes it sound so much more violent. I I know. Yeah. Briefcase wanker. (laughs) Oh, yeah. (laughs) Uh, That's exactly what I thought of too. In between is is just the pinnacle of it. It's getting bullied. Forgot I wrote it down. All right, we're black and... um, Kyle is, I don't know. <laughs> Where was I going with that? No, I don't know. I was going to say you're hard and. No, okay. You know, I've never seen your penis before. Oh, I thought you were going to say you've never seen me hard. And I'm like, that is I've by design. I've never seen your penis. Really? That's good. I've I don't know why you want. I've seen your penis. Have you? Yeah, I have. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Where? I've saw, saw it at Falls. The year I, the day I met Kyle. Oh, true. That's full, when I met your penis. Full, so you did the uh, full the, circle. Yeah, full cock. Yeah. yeah. Is that when I was doing a bush shit? Bush poo, yeah. Yeah, hard to avoid. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to, yeah, hide that one. I'd like to see yours one day. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, no. no. I'm joking. That's an interesting take. See, that's one thing I'm never doing. First take. First take. I'm never showing any other guy... Football change rooms, sporting room change rooms, nothing. My penis. No yeah. one can see it. Do you feel that, the same? That will be a bit sus. That'll be a thing like we've no one's ever seen his penis. <laughs> Someone has to get an eye on his penis. You'll become the penisless man. Like. Yeah. They'll be like, I don't think he has a penis. He sits down every single time he goes to the toilet. He just doesn't have a penis. You'll turn into that guy. What's better? The penis, penisless man. <laughs> They'll make a movie about. What that. happens if you cut your dig off? Where oh, do you pee out of? What do you? Where do you eat out of? Pee. pee. Oh, where it'd be. From? They would make a. They'd have to make some sort of tube hole. That's yeah. disgusting, dude. Oh, well, they yeah, would have. To. I don't think this is by choice. They'd have to make a hole of some sort. Because you're not vomiting out what you drink. <laughs> of course not. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's yeah. That's I'd horrendous. be so grim. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrendous. That's vile. <laughs> okay, so you're at the urinal. I'm in there. I get in there first. Yep. There's four. Mm-hmm. I choose far right. Yep. There's a guy far left. Are you going next to me or the guy? To you? Ne- Do I know it's you? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm going far one right. next to you. Yeah. Next to me. I'm not going next to the random. Oh, I hope you do. <laughs> I feel like like that's the general rule. Next to your mate? Well, you go close. Well, it'd be stranger if you went closer to someone else than your mate. Mm. Someone you know well and are comfortable around. Because then you're probably going to talk to each other while you're in the toilet. And if you're like one away from, you know what I mean? It's It's just like a weird distance to talk. With Mm. one in between. Yeah. What about... Say, all right, I've got one. Okay. Say I've gone in far right. Yeah. He's gone two across. Yeah. Do I go in between you two or on the wall on the other side of him? You go on the other side where there's no one on your left. Do you still go there? Yeah. Hemmed in the corner? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Well done. Do you... Wait, you go. Nothing's wrong with the corner. No. Yeah, I was going to say, do you always go to the corner of the urinal? Yeah. Yeah. Safe. Always. Why? Don't know. Because you only ever buy... Any possibility going to piss next to one person? Yeah, I think that's it. And even they can't get a good angle of your package when you're in the I corner. I don't care either. about that. See, that's what I care about. <laughs> <laughs> what do you care about then? I Pissing just don't want. I don't. Yeah, I don't want them to get their piss on me. Yeah, no yeah. good. It's like at the football. Gross. Do yeah. you stand on those grates or do you stand behind the grates? On the no, oh to, wait, on the pissy grates. Yeah, like those. You know, it's kind of on the urinal, but it's above it. So your piss like goes under your feet. Oh, it's something I haven't noticed in a while, but I don't know exactly what you mean. Yeah. Mm. I think I just do the, st- the standard. You stand on the grate. I stand on the grate. 
Yeah. I'm yeah. not, if everyone else is standing on the grate, I'm not standing <laughs> behind the grate and taking a piss from three it's point like, line. Yeah, it's a half court shot. Yeah, that's just <laughs> With a arrogant. massive stream. Massive stream. So the stream. guy next to you could only see the stream and not <laughs> see, you. <laughs> so if he looks to the side, he's just seen cock. cock yeah. And it might stream. come in come in with a bit of velocity, a bit of splashback on his pants. No good. And that bit that goes off to the side. Yeah, you might have a bit of, you know, <laughs> variation. Mm. Some, yeah. See, I always Outward go to the swing. corner because I like the privacy of the corner. Yeah, that's probably. Well, yeah, I see that's so that's probably fair. Yeah, with everyone, everyone likes a little bit of privacy when they're doing their thing. Mm. Yeah, you, you're anyway. removing removing waste. That's all you're doing at the end of the day. I did have something to talk about. <laughs> that wasn't it. No, that was not it. Oh, okay. Well, then we should have started with the other thing. <laughs> okay. Um, here's a thing that really shits me. People that walk around with like one headphone in or headphones in, but they're not playing music and then they start talking to you. <laughs> like, are you in the conversation with me or are you in with your music? Yeah. No, that's fair. Be respectful and take them out. While you're if you're not listening to anything, take it out. Even if you are listening, take it out. Yeah. If you want to start a conversation, take them out. Are you happy with one out? One out, one in? That's only okay if you're listening to music first and it's only a quick passing by comment yeah. or like a, oh, you, you want to come grab food with me? Nah, I'm good. Or yeah, I'll come or whatever. Yeah. And then you can chuck it back in. Or if you're on the train or a plane or a car. What, are you talking? Have you been talking? Okay. Well, say you're on a flight and you've mm. been talking for a while and then you put the earphones in. Yeah. Once the, you know, you're talking has kind of stopped. Mm. Yeah. And then you might strike up conversation again. Yeah. Do you just take both out and then wait till conversation stops and then put both back in? Like that seems odd. No, one no, you out. Take one out. One yeah. out. Yeah. But if it if you know it's going to be longer than a two minute conversation, mm. like if this is a big chat, you take them both out. Yeah, but imagine you take both out and then a this is not a take- very hard ask. Taking your headphones out. Yeah, but it's awkward. It, it is. It, it's weird because if you're having this talk, you take your headphones out. You're preparing for a talk. And the chat goes for another 30 seconds and you're putting them back in. It seems weird to me. Well, it, I think I feel like once one is out, it doesn't matter because <laughs> they're going back on. They're going back in. Like, yeah. it's, like it doesn't matter if one or two are out. I think it's yeah. rude to wear head. What if you're playing a card game on a plane Yeah, and you've got one headphone in? What's the point? I don't get the one headphone. I'm either both in or both out. I feel like I'm the same. Because I'm, I'm not listening. Whatever I'm listening to, I'm not focusing on. Mm. If it's a podcast, I'm not listening to what they're talking about. If no. it's music, I've just missed my favorite song. Yeah, I don't listen to anything casually, like in the background. Not to be fair, I'm not intensely like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, shut up, shut up. <laughs> No. Yeah, you're not. No one's doing that. I don't but mind it. I don't mind a little background noise in the ear. Do you think it's rude when there's people with headphones in that you're talking to? Yeah, d- it depends on the circumstance. Yeah, and they just do like the flick back or like to take it out, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. like, oh, sorry for wasting your fucking precious time <laughs> on your headphones. <laughs> oh. Just wanted to ask you how you're going. Yeah, people yeah, that would have think their times more important than yours and they do any kind of action that reflects that mm. infuriates me mm. speeding past you in an 80 zone fuck, fuck off. off like you are <laughs> not that important yeah i don't, I don't like care that. who you are you're not that important especially to, be, to make it feel like i'm going 80 yeah this is not a slow lane it's one lane either way i'm going 80 flies past me like overtakes in the single lane. Yeah. Yeah, that's bad. Oh, that just I'm like, oh, so I've you know, I've been I've ruined your day, have I? <laughs> yeah. Gee, you've had something so important oh. going on. Oh, fuck off. Just, just grow up. We're gonna get there. Oh, here's a battle I had the other day. Lining up for Maccas, rare of me, because <laughs> I don't have any money. Yeah, <laughs> now it's rare. Yeah, go to Maccas, line up. Order at the same time, pretty much, as the guy in the other ordering bay in the drive-thru. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. I finish my order first. What? I nudge ahead, right? And there's a car in front, but there's enough room to fit one car. 
Mm-hmm. He comes up after he finishes, gets right next to me and like kind of turns his wheel and noses in a little bit. Stay on track, Hanra. What you need to do is stay on track. And the car in front of me goes and just about two metres. We both go at the same time. Yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. I yeah. didn't look at him though because I didn't want to make it awkward. Yeah. I thought I had priority. Wait, so say this is... Are you the inside lane? I'm the inside lane. And then he has to give way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you finish first. And you finish first. But this guy was so like that's just I would just, I would just be like I would no, look I'd, at him I'd be away. looking at him like what are you doing? That's yeah. not what you do. Did you end up looking at all? I looked at him and I said I yeah. just raised my hands like, what's the go? And then he gave me the flick through. Oh, no. Nah, so that's now even you fucking worse. Thank you. Yeah. Now fuck you this need to guy. This you. guy can fuck off. Yeah. Giving you the flick like, nah, I'll be a good bloke. You go, yeah. you know, you're yeah. fucking right yeah. to go through. <laughs> it's my right oh, to go you through. dickhead. And he had like one hand on his forehead when he gave me the flick through. Oh, like, like oh. fine, I'll let you through. Yeah, exactly. I was meant to go through. Exactly. Oh, that shits me. Fucking so That's annoying. the same thing. Like, oh, gee, I'll be the good guy. You'll wait, you know, like, gee, I'm oh. such a burden on you go the inside lane if you want to go next <sighs> that's i what hate happened. that i hate that that's what happened so we know he lost yeah he knew he was wrong and then he tried to do the either make you feel bad tried to take advantage of me yeah grow up you yeah. can oh i hate him i Where hate that those people on the roads it's the same thing when you're merging take like, their license I, ha- I have to get here because like there's people behind me I ha- for the f- for the traffic to flow I have to get in that spot yeah. and they're like pushing up oh like, they keep behind pushing me. up yeah. they keep, like I'm meant to go here this is where I'm meant to go yeah. and then they look at you and they finally go yeah go in I'm not waving at you because <laughs> I'm meant to go there mm. that's You're the way to let that's me the in. way it works yeah there's oh. a part on the Monash so you just get on the Monash off the East Link and then there's a far left lane, right? Off police road. Yeah. So you're just getting on. Yeah. And there's always the far left lane. Yeah. That So you mer- you go on, you merge with ongoing traffic. Yeah. The fuck, sorry, these <laughs> cowards yeah. that stay in the left lane after they can see it's a bit banked up and they just keep going on that left lane. Oh, and just try and jump in front of other people. Oh, there so is a like there's a special place in hell for them, <laughs> where they will burn. Yeah, I know exactly what. You and mean. I hate them. Yeah, I'm like, you, no, just no, just no. I'm jo- like they were already on the road. I'm joining them. I'm getting in early, and I'm waiting. You're doing your part. You're doing your part. And then there's these people that try and skip it. Mm. And they're like, oh, well, there's a lane. Here. Yeah, but like that's lanes there for, you know, when there's nothing. Yeah. Like that's an extra lane to merge on at the next stop. Oh. <laughs> what about these people, right? So say. I hate people so much. <laughs> this is why I don't want to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> why I want to stay at home. Oh, I God. hate what I am. I hate me so anyway, much. Anyway, I make coffees at work. Nice. So how do you go with Love impatient coffee. people? Yeah. So I, I take longer. Two people order yeah. a coffee. Yeah. Um, the first person, the second person. Mm-hmm. The second person ordered a long black, which takes no time at all to make. Yeah. So I make the long black first. Yeah. And just say, here you go, mate. Like Brad, he comes and the lady's like, he went after me. Do they come up to you and say that? Yeah. He's like, he went after me. Mike. I'm like, yeah, because you ordered three cappuccinos and he just ordered a takeaway long black. Yeah. And it doesn't take very long. And then she went, oh. Oh, fuck off. Oh. See, that's why I can't work in hospitality. Because I'd be like, well, now I'm not making them. Yeah. I'm not doing it. Am I such a burden on you? Nah. Impatience. I hate impatience. I hate it. It's just, did, would you do that? Like, No, I wouldn't go up and be like, Oh, you're, you know, you're such an asshole. Or you're like feeding me bullshit. If you're, I would get it. All right. All right. Here's a good question that I reckon you guys might have mixed opinions on. If you're at a cafe and your food is late. I was, this was in my brain. I know exactly what you're going to say. Yeah. Are you getting up and asking what's going on? Or are you waiting and like wait for them to come past and then asking what's going on? 
Because I reckon the get up is super rude. Well, are you going to say that? Well, I was going to say the, the, the worst feeling is when like you don't know whether to ask genuinely because they might have forgotten your food. And then you go up and say, hey, look, I ordered like 20 minutes ago, just wondering if it's still there. Yeah. And it's like, oh yeah, it's just coming now. And there's like a minute away. Mm. There's no worse feeling. That is the worst feeling. Because it's literally, all I had to do was wait an extra two minutes and it was there. But mm. I was just trying to make sure. Yeah. So I've been to a cafe. I had good intentions. I had good, in- I'm trying to make sure the flow is okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've been to a cafe. So they always bring the coffee out first. Mm-hmm. I was with my girlfriend. She got a drink. I didn't get mine. Then the food came out. I finished my food and my coffee still wasn't here. Yeah, you're asking. I'm going. You're asking. I yeah. went up. I'm like, yeah. what's going on? They're like, oh, yeah, right. Forgot it. They forgot I it. Forgot they were it, saying, yeah. oh, it was up next. No, it wasn't. I saw you do like five takeaway coffees and three huge mugs. Yeah. Like you completely forgot. Which is fine. Which is fine. But... Yeah, look, a cough, you want your coffee first. <laughs> I really want my coffee first. I would happily wait longer to not get my food as long as I get my coffee first. Really? I don't... Yeah. Because mm. you're not... Yeah, you want your coffee before. Yeah. Personally. Yeah. See, I think it's always dependent on the situation, how long you wait until you ask. Because yeah. sometimes it's necessary. Like mm. if it gets to the point where you're literally, you've been waiting there for 40 minutes, you're like, okay... It's time. It's time. If it's like, (laughs) there's like people behind you when they start getting their food, one or two, you let it slide. Yeah. When it gets to like five people, all right, something's up. Something's wrong. Something's up. Yeah. I completely agree. Because you always let the one or two slide. Like they got theirs before us, they ordered after. Yeah. Yeah. But that can happen. They ordered something takeaway, toasty. Or like they ordered the same drink that someone else did, so they made a big batch. Yeah, Yeah, big batch. Yeah. Yeah. But five people after, and you haven't ordered the fucking menu. You've just ordered scrambled eggs. Yeah. But I'm also the same person. I ha- like, I hate so much going up and saying, where's my shit? Yeah. yeah. So I'll wait longer than I have to. Will you ask, like, say you're at a cafe, will you ask the waiter or will you go up, like, front of counter? Wherever this I ordered the I food. Yeah. Like, I'm going up to front of counter. You've got to be some kind of, like... You got to be either really pissed off to do that, because you're all like you're almost basically saying to the people that are about to order, awful service. Yeah, they don't want to see you, the people at the counter either. No, they don't want to see you there. No, they want they say just, deal it with the waiter. Like. Yeah, I'd be like, oh, can you check if my coffee's on the way to mm. like a waiter walking past, and then they're like, yeah, I'll just be one second, which they're used to. Yeah, that. I would prefer. But the people at the counter are taking orders currently. Way too busy. And they don't give a fuck that your coffee's late. No. We, <laughs> yeah. we have your money. You'll they get it when care. you get it. They just shut the fuck up. I've got a whole line here. Yeah. Go ask someone else. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. That's what it is. Nothing worse than being slammed, like jam slammed, and then someone not in where you're getting slammed asking you for something else. Get mm-hmm. the fuck away from me. Yeah. What happens if you've been shortchanged, not much money? How much are we talking? <laughs> okay. So Cents or dollars? <laughs> so what's a, what's a good example here, you reckon? I got like five, five bucks. Wait, so they didn't give you five bucks? Say so you, so you got like a $40, $40 $45 meal, you gave 50 cash mm-hmm. and, they, and you got like two bucks back instead of like... So you're missing out on five bucks. Um, yeah, I'm asking. So oh, is that I right? I wouldn't ask. I wouldn't ask. I would, ask I would be asking. I just trust I bought something for an extra three yeah. bucks. If it's over two dollars, I'm asking for change. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being honest. Uh, if it's over two dollars, I'm asking for change. If it's a dollar sixty, I'll be like, "That's annoying. <laughs> that's that's so annoying." <laughs> what? <laughs> like that'll really upset me for the whole day. I'll be yeah. telling Izzy. I'll be like, "This is really bugging me." I know it's only a dollar sixty, but like that's money. What about if you book a room, right? Say at a hotel, you see the price online, you get to the hotel, you see it's one fifty a night, mm. you get there and they say that's just hundred and seventy five dollars, thank you. <laughs> and you're like, No. Why? I'd, would you bring up or would you just assume there's some cleaning fee that like No, I'd be asking it was advertised for one fifty. Yeah, but then they say, Oh, but obviously the cleaning fee and the maintenance It uh, didn't I'd be like, did the advertise I'd be asking where in the advertisement did it say it wasn't included. What if they said one fifty five 
five bucks more than advertised. I'd still say, well, why isn't it 150? <laughs> you wouldn't. I'm yes, sorry. I would. I would. You would not say that. Well, yeah, if you... I so say, say this place in Amsterdam we're going to, yeah, so there's an extra five bucks a night. Yeah, I'm asking the question. Okay, <laughs> so you need to prepare yourself because that happens so much in Europe. And it does. We'll, yeah, and we'll, we're paid in full most of our spots. Yeah, but you have to pay for extra stuff when you get there. You have to pay for tax for being in the country. A towel. But you have to pay tax for being in the like. Do you remember paying that? So you have to pay like five euros per night or something sometimes to just to be in the country. In, in a hostel. Yeah. Oh, that could be right. Yeah. We got we got stung with like the first place, Amsterdam, Airbnb. He's like, okay, so there's this like the city tax. Yeah, that, the that, city that tax. Yeah, that's right. That they can't attach to the price of the accommodation. So how do you pay that? In cash. Or sometimes card, but you have to pay it. And then you're sitting what, there so like, the what the fuck? So the Airbnb bloke walks around with the little white square. So it's just tap away when you're ready. He did something like that last time, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to really... It's not advertised. <laughs> yeah, really it's not advertised. City enough. tax. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a warning or I'm not paying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not paying. I'm not so where are you staying? What are you going to do? Uh, well, does he do it the first night he gets there? Well, yeah. with the first time you we got there. You check in and you have to pay it. Oh, yeah, look, I'm having some words, but I'll, I'll probably end up paying it. But I'll be like, yeah, that's... Not happy. Yeah, I'm not happy with that at all. I Yeah, I'll be furious, actually. I I'll be very angry. I can't describe how excited I am to hear about you complaining about shit over there. <laughs> Do you reckon there'll be a lot for me to complain oh, about? So oh, much. so much. Bro. Everything, dude. Yeah. There'll be one... Oh, Whoa! <laughs> well, beep that out. It's not beep after that. Dark. Beep that out. Sorry, sorry. It was the N word. No, I can't be, I'm not doing extra work to get that out. Get that out. <laughs> there's, there's, there'll be one guy in the corner, or like someone in the hostel when you go out and do stuff with the hostel, who pisses you off. This is why, and you'll be fed up. You won't be able to deal with it. I've tried to convince everyone when we go to hostels, we do like four bedrooms. And we book all the beds. <laughs> oh, yeah. We've because done I, that before. Yeah. I don't want to have this one guy in my room. But that's traveling. It's, a, it's so yeah. funny. Well, we're, so, we're doing it a like, couple of times, though. So. He's so anti other people in the room. I don't want that's, anyone else. What's the, almost we're the doing best it, part of it. There's a fair few. Like, to be fair, we're doing about four hostels that are 12, eight to 12 bedrooms. There's nothing better than when... You see your mate stuck with someone in the hostel who you know is weird. <laughs> it's it's just so ever. funny. Like, I, it's just the best. I don't think I'm getting sucked in <laughs> at a hostel. You do by though. Someone. You do. It's inevitable. Yeah. No, but like I don't. I feel like I'll be like, yeah, I, I got to go. I <laughs> feel like it, you would definitely. Oh, is Noxie the kind of person that will get sucked into chat, or just be like, yeah. dude, I'm done. No, nah, Noxie's a chatter when it, when someone random is talking to him. What about yeah. Rayla? He would not. No, nah, Rayla. I don't think he's having a bar Rayla, of it. Rayla, Rayla couldn't hide the emotions. Takes the piss out of him, sort of. Yeah. Yeah. Rayla gets away with murder, though. Very funny to watch in front of a new he person. He does get away with murder. Like, he'll say ridiculous stuff about someone sitting right next to him, and what? I'll say something, like, lightheartedly, and they'll be like, whoa. Whoa, yeah. Whoa. Calm your shit. Rayla literally whisper. Well, not even whisper, like, he would just say it. He'll say the guy's to my left. And I yeah. said, I fucking hate this guy. Yeah. He, <laughs> like, he, he, does, it, like he does it all the time. <laughs> all the time. And like, he gets away with it. There's no problem. And Nox, you could say, should we move? And the guy would be like, what do you say? Do you want me? Do you not want me here? Like, <laughs> 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 fucking hell. It's ridiculous. Oh man. I'm pretty excited. No, it'll be good. Yeah, I was wondering, much. are we going to have enough content to talk about? Oh, there'll be enough. You, you can talk for days. Mm. Like I've, the reason I've got nothing to talk about, I've done nothing. I cannot wait to do something. Yeah. <laughs> one day. I just want to do something. Yeah, one day will just be enough for a week. Yeah. Probably. What time are we at? I feel like I've been talking for bloody ages. Hour 20 or hour 15. Is that yeah. good? Or do I you reckon that's long enough. That's long enough? Yeah, we don't need to bore them any more than we have to. Yeah, like we They're do not that listening anymore anyway. No. No, definitely not. Well, that's a good... I've enjoyed this. It's yeah, funny. It's Whether good. you guys have enjoyed it is completely up for debate. Do yeah. that in the comments. Like the episode. Go check out our Patreon. Yeah. If you're not already on it, that's how you can support us if episode you want to support out us. next week on the Patreon. Yeah. There will be an episode next week, so go check that out. And then in a month's time or something, we've got a one-star review episode page. That'll be fucking funny. Yeah, we've got some... 
What are we doing again for that? I don't. I actually don't know. Going to a shit pub <laughs> and then staying at a shit hotel. But yeah. I don't actually want to stay at the shit hotel. <laughs> we have to though. I don't think I'll be able to. Yes, you will, Carl. That's going to be the entertainment That's behind the game. It. I can't. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to play. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to play. I think we do a one-star activity as well. One-star food, one-star activity, one-star motel. Yeah. Yeah. Like mini golf, one-star mini golf. Oh. Anything. One-star right. bowling. So are we doing a... <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, we'll discuss... Nine pins. One-star karaoke. Yeah. <laughs> Missing pins each time. It's like in a different spot. The bowling balls are wooden. <laughs> yeah. wooden bowling ball. The lightest bowling ball. It like bounces back when it hits the pin. <laughs> All right. That's enough from us. Thank you, Noxie. Thank you, Hanra. Thank you, boys. All right. We'll see you next time. Stuff later.